Hello, I'm Alice and today I want to show you my newest Traveler's Notebook but before we get into the notebook let me show you what was inside the package um, so it came in this paper baggie and it's from Tarko Design um, he's called Tarko Shop on Etsy and I will link his shop down below on, in the um, description box so the notebook came with this, these two inserts the first one was this daily planner, oh sorry, it was this daily planner and it has the monthly overview at the start and then it begins with the daily page so it's kind of like the Hobonichi style as you can see um, with some grid paper and then at the top it has the number, um, so no, the date but it's not actually dated so you can choose the day and then the month so you can start this insert whenever you want and save it until then and I think it's probably going to end at the 31st yes and then at the back it has some more grid paper for notes as you can see it's from Taraka shop definitely check out his blog um no sorry his shop his Etsy shop and tarakashop.com um, he has really great stuff. He has a lot of printables and also some very, very pretty letter covers. And the second one is this nice, very, very bright blue cover. I think on the screen it doesn't show up as bright as it actually is. And inside it has craft paper. I might use this for doodling. I have been getting into urban sketching and I think this might be really nice. Hmm, don't know. I still have some inserts in here, so I want to use these up first before I try the new ones because I don't like unfinished inserts. But let's see, I'm looking forward to these. And also, the leather insert was wrapped in this kind of cloth fabric baggy thing, so it's nice and protected, which is very nice. I usually, right now, I just store the inserts in there because I don't know, don't want them to get crinkled or dirty. Oh, and it also came with the this um, orange elastic so you can change out the closure elastic which is very nice. I think this might look very nice once the letter has darkened and I'm very sorry for my English day. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I knocked the trap out. Um, these few days I just keep messing the words up and so please bear with me I'm very sorry if I keep making mistakes okay so let's put these aside and let me show you the notebook it's beautiful okay um also I have a lot of marks on there already even though I only got this I think last week yeah, but the moment I opened it, I put it on my desk and I didn't see that it was dirty, so I already got some marks on there. It has like water marks, somewhere there's an oil mark. Oh, but it's okay. It's okay. It's an undyed letter, so it will darken with use and I think it's called patina. Um, also, it can you can tan the letter, but I actually quite like this light pinkish spring-like color so I haven't um I kind of want to protect it and just let it get darker with use rather than with the sun but let's see uh what's there to say about it um as you can see it has the spine elastic and also two two elastic for inserts originally it comes with one but I requested two so it's easier to Take your notebooks in and out. <clears throat> Let me show you. In the front it has a short pocket which you can use for cards or receipts and at the back it has a longer bigger pocket and I currently use that to store my washi tape. These are actually my least favorite washi tapes but I use them as bookmarks so my heart doesn't get broken when they're used up or wasted. Kind of like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, nothing special to say about that. Um, oh, no, since I use field note size and passport size, 
I really like the short elastic because I put my um, what's it called passport size inserts in the short elastic and this way they don't slip around and it fits them perfectly. Here I usually have my um, the plastic zipper pouch but because I have a lot of credit card no, cards and ID cards in there I didn't want to take them in and out so I just put that one away. You know this one, this one is my money tracker insert, the second one is my what's it called? my monthly overview and this one is my planner then here at the back is my folder. Um, I made this myself. I will probably make a tutorial video or something in that sort. If you're interested, tell me. I'm not too sure because it takes kind of long to make them. And um, I'm not sure how to position my camera while crafting. So. Uh, not sure. Tell me if you want to see that. Maybe I'll, I'll get to it. But the most exciting part about this, it has this pouch with a snap closure. It's a really beautiful gold snap. It's really pretty. Oh, now you can see my how I film. I film it with my iPod. Okay. <laughs> Um, so it's this snap pouch and at the front it's perfect for coins and it's really, the letter is really thin as you can see. Can you see it? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's really flexible so it makes it really easy to get to your coins if you're out and about. Like if I'm paying, I open it up, snap this open and I can hold it like this and I can get to all my coins. So it's really easy and also because this coin pouch is sewed on like this, this part is actually open as you can see, okay? This part is open so you can actually see through but because usually your notebook is closed like this, right? So if you slip bills at the back of it, it won't fall out at the front. So it would be like this, I can take my coins and at the back I have my bills. Which is perfect. This is all I ever wanted. And the perfect thing is also it's field note size. It's actually my preferred size. And the bills fit perfectly. Look at this. I mean, this is a 20 euro bill and there's still room, which means it could probably easily fit in 50 euro bill. Not sure about 100, but I don't carry that much around with me anyway. So this is perfect. Perfect, guys. It's beautiful and the snap closure is really nice. Like, um, oops, sorry, wait, I'm good. Is it? It's nice and secure. It's not something that would easily pop off or anything. And the stitches are so clean. You know how fascinated I am with clean stitches? Because it's so difficult. So difficult. Look at this. Such a beautiful work. Um,. I like this very much. I'm actually very in love with it, especially the color. <laughs> I think the color just sold me and this coin pouch is like amazing. Um, I know there are, there are other Etsy sellers that make an insert with a coin pouch like this, um, but I actually like it more that it's integrated. Is it called that? Integrated or sewn into the cover actually. So it kind of makes it a little bit um, hmm, sturdier, safer. I don't know, I just like the feeling better of this. And also it's not like it's somehow disturbing you while riding. So far it hasn't. Um, because the leather is really nice and thin so it doesn't bulk too much, you would think that maybe, oh okay, it has like the snap pouch, the snap, then the cover, and then the the actual coin pouch, so it might be getting bulky and heavy. But no, because the leather is so thin! It's so thin! It's like, wait, let me see, let me see, let me see. I can actually measure this. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, my ruler broke, so we have to do it the weird way. It's dun 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 four millimeters. Four millimeter around, yeah. Four millimeters where there are the pouch, 
Then with the snap closure, I mean, it's kind of stupid to measure it as a snap closure because it won't be lying that flat, but it would be bum, 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 six, no, seven, about seven or six, six millimeters. Sorry, that was our frame. And then just the leather would be maybe one, one millimeter. You can't see. I'm sorry, I'm always out of frame, my, my camera is weird. Um, yeah, one millimeter. I could show it to you with my passport size, because that's the size that everyone knows the best, probably. <clears throat> Oops. As you can see, at the top it's the Midori, and at the, at the bottom is the Taroko Shop. See, it's so thin, it's so lightweight, it's beautiful. Um, I think the only thing that that might be, um, how do I say it? Um, the only thing about this that makes it kind of, uh, is that it's really smooth leather. It's so smooth and because I, I, I touched the burnt honey and it was so pebbly and nice and it had such a great texture, not too much, but just the right amount, I, I, I felt like I was in heaven. And especially with the Midori, because I used it so long, it has such an, it has such an oily, not really oily, but like such a, what's it called? Shiny, shiny texture. It's, it just has some resistance if you, rub it like this which makes no sense because usually you wouldn't but but with the um it's just a lot smoother you know i mean of course if you put enough pressure that's the same but it's just really smooth not that it's not beautiful i love it a lot i just feel it, it's a tad a little bit too much smoothness but i'm pretty sure that this will um whoops you see that whatever, um, that it will kind of go away or at least not be as bad um, once you use it and it gets a lot of oils from your hands and just dark and overused. I do love this a lot. I have been carrying this one around with me. It's been so perfect because honestly, this is my wallet. This is my wallet. I have my notebook. I have my pen. What more do you need? <laughs> um, it's really beautiful and I would really recommend it and especially if you haven't checked out Taroko shop go to his Etsy shop or his website he has a lot of amazing um, oh wait a bit I'm sorry I'm getting an update oops okay he has what was I he has a lot of amazing printables and letter covers and also he has he recently launched some um, Tomo River paper inserts for film note size and passport size. So check him out. He's really kind. Steven is so kind. He replies to your messages almost instantly actually and um, he's, he's, so, he's so sweet when answering. He answers all your questions no matter how annoying you might be and just very great customer service. So I would definitely recommend them. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. And if you want to see anything or are interested in anything, also let me know and tell me if you want to see this insert thingy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I will make that, but Let's see. Hope you enjoyed this. I wish you a creative week and a beautiful time. Bye. See you next time.